Hey everyone, AJ Hazzy here and welcome back to the Vantage West video blog. We are uh, halfway through January all, already, can you believe it? And uh, don't mind the ridiculous tan, I just got back from my vacation. I want to talk to you real quick about your tax assessment. By now you would have received your, your new property assessment in the mail. No doubt many of you have some mixed feelings about the, uh, the large increase that we saw in property values. And I wanted to just sort of take a couple minutes and demystify this whole BC assessment thing. A lot of people believe that let's say hypothetically your property went up by 20% uh, on your assessment, that this is going to equate to a 20% jump in their property taxes. And that's simply not the case. In fact, how they do the property tax assessments is a little more complicated than that. And what they do is they take into consideration how well your neighborhood performed in comparison to the average. So if the average home went up by 15% per se, and you went up by 20, then you may see a property tax increase. Now, if your home only went up 10%, where the average went up 15, you may even see a decrease despite having a higher assessed value. So it doesn't correlate um, on a percentage basis, so don't worry about that. If you're curious how your neighborhood stacks up against other neighborhoods, our Vantage report that we just released does go through it neighborhood by neighborhood and show the price increases. Um, okay, so now some of you may have a question, do I want to argue my tax assessment? And you know, this is a question of what is your plan? Are you going to be in this home for the next five to 10 years? Because perhaps lowering your assessed value would save you a couple thousand dollars in taxes over the period of time that you're gonna be in the home. A $50,000 decrease would equate to roughly about a $220 uh, per year savings. And the way they calculate that actually is a pretty simple formula. I'll, I'll put it up here on the screen now. You can see they take the uh, hundreds of thousands and divided by a thousand, or the, your value, sorry, divided by a thousand, and then they multiply that by roughly four and a half. And that's how they get the, uh, the tax equation of what your home's uh, taxes will be. So might you want to argue the taxes to be higher? In the case of you're planning to sell in the next one to two years, it might make sense. Um, you don't necessarily get more for a home because it has a higher assessed value, but if you're planning on you know, trying to achieve a price that's much higher than what your assessed value is, having an assessment that correlates with where you believe market value, uh, it certainly doesn't hurt, and it might equate to you getting you know, a few thousand dollars more for the home. So it might make sense to argue it upward. You're certainly not gonna receive any opposition from the city of Kelowna if you uh, are trying to pay more tax. And like I said, a $50,000 increase would cost you maybe $220 for the year that you might be staying in the home. So it might be a good investment. And so lastly, as we wrap this up, I kind of want to dispel the last little myth here. I know a lot of people are wondering, what's the difference between an assessment and an appraisal? And uh, they both start with A, and these two words get interchanged quite a bit in real estate. But there's some pretty major differences. Uh, number one, an appraisal is someone who actually comes to your home. They've seen the interior of your home. The BC Assessment uh, Office has never been inside your house. So uh, an appraisal actually is trying to find the market value of your home, whereas the assessor is trying to figure out, on average, roughly what your home would be worth based on how much uh, home you have and how big of a piece of property you have. The other big difference is that uh, an assessment is using data that's potentially up to a year, old, a year or more old, and an appraiser has to use data and only sales within the last 90 days. So the time frame is definitely compressed. So you know, to kind of sum it up, an assessor is, an assessed value is used to figure out your tax rate, and an appraisal is used to figure out what your home is truly worth and what it would sell for in today's market. So hopefully that helps. Um, as always, if you're curious about what your home is worth, we do have a home evaluation tool that you can get access to right here from the blog. And if you are curious to start looking at properties out in the marketplace, we do have a search tool here that you can use. So hope you found that helpful and we'll see you in a couple weeks.